Hey all, welcome to the Slim Hanger. My name's Mark. Thanks very much for watching and let's get started. In this video, I'm attempting to answer for you flight simmers out there, should you upgrade from Wi-Fi 6 to Wi-Fi 7? And who might be considering doing just that? Well, this may be of interest to anybody using wireless standalone VR, such as a MetaQuest 3 or Play for Dreams MR. The Play for Dreams headset directly supports Wi-Fi 7. The MetaQuest 3 doesn't natively support Wi-Fi 7, but it can take advantage of the 6 GHz band via Wi-Fi 6E. I've only recently been able to get my hands on the Play for Dreams VR headset. I was blown away by its visual fidelity and keen to maximize performance, thus my sudden interest in Wi-Fi 7. If you'd like to know more about the Play for Dreams MR VR headset, check out these videos, link in the notes below. By my own admission, I'm not particularly knowledgeable on all the details between the different Wi-Fi standards. I'm in no shape or form an expert, but what I do understand as a general guide is faster is better. There's Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E. The principal difference being that the 6E version can access the 6 GHz band. And Wi-Fi 7 comes with even faster speed, designed obviously for full fiber connections, offering double the bandwidth of the 6 standard. Bandwidth obviously being important in terms of data transmission to and from the headset. So the question to be asked is, will Wi-Fi 7 offer a performance improvement? The router I'm using is the new one from EE. It's Wi-Fi 7, but backwards compatible of course. Tri-band router. I was originally considering a TP-Link router. I am running a Wi-Fi mesh throughout the house. And coincidentally, my contract with BT was up. That contract was a 1 gigabit connection. I opted not to renew. There was a better deal from EE, which ironically is also owned by BT, offering me up to 1.6 gigabit with a guaranteed 1.3 gigabit connection at a reduced cost per month of £7.42p. That was a deal I couldn't say no to. Fortunately, my gigabyte switches and mesh were Wi-Fi 7 compatible. My Ethernet connection is a 2.5 gigahertz on my PC. So what were the raw results once I had completed the upgrade? Here I'm measuring the connection speeds for my Ethernet connection directly to my PC. You may be wondering why I test the Ethernet. Well, even virtual desktop that I'm using today requires Ethernet connection if you're using it without mods. As predicted, my download speed has increased to just over 1.3 gigabits compared to the 900 to 1 gigabit that I was receiving previously. That's about a 40% uplift. Happy with that. And here, just for reference purposes, is my connection to the Wi-Fi on my PC. Once again, you can see a sizable uplift. But as mentioned, this is just for reference only because using virtual desktop, you of course connect directly to the router and not the Wi-Fi on your PC. You should bear that in mind when troubleshooting your connection problems. So my switch to Wi-Fi 7 has improved speeds overall. So now it's time to jump into Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 and give it a test using virtual desktop application in both the Quest 3 and the Play for Dreams MR VR headset. We'll start with the Play for Dream headset. We're departing Megsfield and heading over Chicago. We're in TAA anti-aliasing mode. There are no other performance enhancements. Foveated rendering is off. As for this test, we just want to test raw power and performance. In some settings are a combination of high and medium, textures at 150, objects at 100. We can see Wi-Fi 7 is using the 6 GHz channel, that's the way I've set it up. And on the right was my previous Wi-Fi 6 setup. Points to note in terms of differentiation would be latency. Game is indicating your frame time in milliseconds. And also of note is the networking and decoding timings. The headset is running at full 4K resolution. Both flights were super smooth. Any juddering that you're seeing is a result of the actual recording itself as both flights were flown separately and recorded directly in the headset. And as we're in virtual desktop using the Play for Dream VR headset, we are in monster mode in terms of graphic setting. Normally with my previous setup, I would be getting around about 1200 megabits per second. That has jumped up to th just under 3500 megabits per second as average. But as you can see, this hasn't really translated into any performance uplift of note. There's an improvement, but it's nominal. 
Here's a quick snippet of a similar flight in the Quest 3. All the settings are the same. Graphics are set to godlike in Virtual Desktop. Previously, once again, I would be getting about 1200 megabits per second. That has effectively doubled and has remained static. And in this instance, although subjective, I feel the flight is much smoother with little to no micro pauses or stutters. And you should note I tried both the Quest and the Play for Dreams with the bitrate set to auto and also to off. And in both instances, well, the results were pretty much the same and certainly within error of margin. Well, in summary, my upgrade from Wi-Fi 6 to Wi-Fi 7 has not really yielded the results that I expected it to yield. I can't say that I've got a measurable increase in performance in terms of FPS or even perhaps latency. What I have achieved perhaps is more of a consistency in terms of the reliability of the data flow itself and therefore I'm less prone to network induced micro pauses, stutters and the like and so on. Is it perhaps just a limitation of the encoding and decoding within virtual desktop itself that could be a limitation, a bottleneck? Could it be the router? Um, although virtual desktop was showing a pretty consistent and a very measurable increase in terms of overall data feed in the move from 6 to 7. Well, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I'm not an expert on this type of thing by any stretch of the imagination. So if you've got any ideas or suggestions, please don't hesitate to drop them in the comments below. All comments gratefully received. But overall, as the results are and as my understanding is right now, I would say that an upgrade for Microsoft Flight Simulator for wireless VR using the Quest 3 or Play for Dreams, moving from Wi-Fi 6 to Wi-Fi 7, no meaningful benefit in my personal opinion at this time. Thank you as always for joining me. I hope you found it useful and informative. Stay well, see you soon, and catch you next time, Captains.